me, the definition of a real beekeeper is somebody that doesn't wear gloves when they work their bees. Because what I find is when you wear gloves, you're just not as gentle. I feel like I'm more in the people business and the honeybees are, are my product. And so when I go to people's houses, I'm kind of like there just to give them guidance or to hold their hand and to you know, walk them through it and basically let them use my experience. Dr. Ward is part of the family now. Mr. Buzz is, is very helpful for me. He's also helpful for others. Anybody who likes bees, he likes. This morning, we discovered that I knew there was something wrong and I was waiting for him to come on over, also for the weather to get to where we could get into it. I noticed that there was very little activity around the one hive that was really the most active hive. So I knew there was something wrong. I'd like to start with another definition. Another definition is what they call a bee haver. A bee haver is someone that has a hive of bees, but doesn't maintain it. You know, it's somebody that likes the way it looks in their yard, but when it comes down to it, never actually goes out and opens it up and maintains it properly. To me, a beekeeper is someone that actually manages their bees. Oh! All right, I just got stung. You want to see this? Let's get this on film. All right, so she just stung me. Now watch this little venom sac. It's gonna pump. Like, that's where the pains come from. So yesterday when we were at Dr. Ward's house, we noticed that one of his hives was without a queen. And um, I keep these little hives here. This is called a nuke, or a nucleus hive. I keep these going at my, at my place in case one of my clients loses a queen and needs a replacement. That way I can just pull one out of here and then start another queen up. So the story behind Mr. Buzz is uh, every year we would come to, to Raleigh to go to the fair. And one of my, my greatest memories from growing up is the uh, observation hive at the NC State Fair, like the bee exhibit. And I told my dad, I was like, Dad, I'd love to get a, a beehive and put it in the backyard. And he was just like, no, not at all. And so just squish that dream. And then uh, many, many years later, I had the opportunity to go and work at the NC State Fair as a beekeeping expert. And so I got to go sit there and answer questions from little kids. They were kind of like how I was when I first saw the bee exhibit. And you know, so that was really neat. What I'm trying to focus on now to kind of help the future of beekeeping is to raise really good beekeepers. You know, people that really know what they're doing. He's always on me about being slow. We call it bee speed. And it has helped me a lot because I'm, um, let's get it done. I want to get it done now. I want to, you know, I got 12 things more to do. It's made me slow down because if you work bees and you don't slow down, you're going to get stung. What I need is I need help and I need experienced beekeepers. And with the lessons that I give people, you know, I'm training future great beekeepers, somebody that actually like works with them, you know, studies them and really takes care of them. So this is a, um, a uh, movie on bees. 